Hi, I'm Yuval Leon, and I'm the production director of Milk Media, and Mike Kraus is the creative director. Milk Media is an award-winning production company based in New York. Uh, before co-founding Milk Media, Mike was a videographer and editor at the BBC for 10 years, while I had a 15-year career as an international news producer working for the AP, NBC, and PBS, and was twice nominated for a News Emmy. Uh, I'm also a JFN member, and together with Mike, we recently produced a legacy film for my family. Okay. I think we can all agree um, that it's important for families to pass on their legacy to future generations. And what we want to talk to you today about is family legacy films, which we feel are particularly powerful way for families to preserve their legacy. After all, storytelling is in our DNA. It's what makes us human. We love to share stories. So, so why is video storytelling particularly powerful? Because it can truly bring a story to life and it's able to engender emotions. You get to see and hear directly from the family members. You get to see their eyes, you get a sense of who they are and make an emotional connection. Okay, so I started thinking about legacy, legacy films when thinking about my own family situation. Um, our fa financial situation was transformed a few years ago and led me to think about what it means to inherit money. It also led me to question my own parents' legacy. Uh, you know, how would their wealth impact future generations of our family? Now, of course, having access to wealth can be a wonderful thing and, and open new opportunities, but it can also be complicated and even unrooting, especially for future generations who will not have met the wealth creator or will know where the money came from or, or the values that guided its creation. So as a filmmaker, I realized that I have the tools to help my parents pass on their story, to communicate their values and, and provide future generations of our family with a shared sense of their roots and identity. Okay, so embarking on a project like this might seem daunting. Uh, so what we'd like to do today is break down the process and explain how to tell a legacy story through video effectively. Um, and and as, as Yuval has already mentioned, we recently completed a production of, of a legacy film for his family. Um, and we're gonna use that as an example of the process of making such a film and what you might expect. Um, we're also gonna show you some clips from the film to illustrate the points we're making. Uh, and the first point we want to make is that making a film needs to be not just informative, but it has to be entertaining and engaging to watch. You have to go beyond the talking heads and, and old photos. And if it's not entertaining, you can't expect future generations to wanna to watch the film. The first step to making a legacy film then is, is really research. Uh, though in the case of my family, it was not so necessary as I already knew most of our story. But in most cases, it is vital for the filmmakers to research the family story, talk with everyone involved in the project before any filming begins. Uh, this can also build familiarity and trust between the family and the filmmakers. Another important part of the research process is to know what historical visual elements exist. I'm sure you all have boxes in the attic full of old photos that you intend to go through one day. You know, you always plan to, but you actually never get to it. So, so making a legacy film uh, kind of forces you to do that. And you know, the added benefit of making the film gives you the opportunity to finally put in order that all the old photo and video archiving archives. Um, and digitizing all your material will make it available to future generations, as well as making it easier to access. So, in, a, in the film about my family, we, we researched through uh, our boxes of old photos and looked for any existing uh, old film or videos, organizing and digitizing what we found. You know, we've even found some lovely old eight millimeter footage of my parents in the 70s and my sisters and I as kids. And it was really quite a nostalgic, nostalgic journey. Okay, so once we did the research, the next step is to create a story outline. And we, we worked with Yuval's family on what themes they wanted to come through. Um, having a couple of themes that repeatedly appear in the film really gives the film more depth. It's, it's the connective tissue that holds the story together. It's, it's what you want the viewer to remember long after they've watched the film. So in Yuval's parents' case, being proud Israelis, we decided with them on the theme of their love for Israel, as well as their values, values their, their in, of, of integrity and honesty and giving to the community. Um, the next step was to decide on who should be interviewed. And Yuval's parents, obviously, his, his, and Yuval and his siblings, and there were some other family members as well as close friends and colleagues. And all, all together, we interviewed 12 people. 
Okay, uh, finally, we decided what scenes that we would like to shoot. Having scenes helps elevate the film beyond just sit down interviews. It provides the film with energy and allows for poignant and, and even emotional moments to happen on camera. So for example, with my family, we filmed each of my parents going to their childhood home with one of their siblings. We also took them with an old work colleague to where they started their careers and also took the whole family to the house where you know, I and my sisters grew up in and just things like that. Okay, so if you think about your family story, that there are important moments in your timeline that are worth visiting, like points that change the trajectory for your family. And that might be where they started working, where they grew up, a meaningful place for their relationship or some personal moment that affected an important decision. These can all be opportunities to create a scene that brings about a genuine and poignant moment on camera. Okay, so we haven't even started filming yet. We've done the research, we created the story outline, and we decided on the interviews and, and, and the scenes that we're going to film. And having done all that, now we're ready to film. Um, the filming should take a couple of weeks, and maybe not consecutively, but to give you a sense of how long a project might take, including the editing, you can expect about three to six months. And from that, we recommend that you end up with a film that runs about 20 to 40 minutes is a good length to keep the viewer engaged. Okay, so now we're going to show you um, some examples of the types of scenes uh, we were talking about. Um, the one is where my father is at the docks at Haifa, where he started his career in shipping. But first, when my father visits his childhood home with his brother. In this scene, note how the visit creates an emotional moment, and also how the background music plays a part in that. Um, my father is in the, in the dark blue shirt. Oh, and, and of course, since my parents are Israeli, the, the film is in Hebrew, but there are English subtitles. <laughs> Thank <laughs> שזכינו בהורים שעזרו בהקמת המולדת והיו בזמנים הקשים של מדינת ישראל ומוכנים לעשות הכל למען הקמת המדינה. Okay, so in the next scene we took Yuval's father with an old work colleague to where he started his career in shipping at the port of Haifa. Um, and before the scene starts, he talks about how, how much he loved his job. And you, you can notice the genuine excitement that comes through from being back at the port after so many years. <laughs> Okay, so, so you can really imagine future generations of Yuval's family seeing exactly like, where he started his career, the docks, you know, the ships, and you get a real sense of what it was like. And, and you, can, you can really feel his, the genuine love for his job, which was ultimately what led 
to his success. Um, when you're making your film, you need to imagine scenes that you would want future generations to see. It's one thing hearing about what your ancestors did, and it's entirely different and way more powerful seeing exactly where it happened. Okay, so the final slightly longer scene we'd like to show is actually from the last three minutes or so of the film, and it really sums up this idea of legacy. Um, in it, we asked one of my sisters and my parents to talk directly to future generations. Um, in fact, at the end, we asked my parents to talk straight into the camera to get their message directly across. Um, also, my family had worked on a constitution and we used its signing as a way to bookend the film and as a way to further emphasize the importance of legacy and family unity. <laughs> או קוראים במסמכים, הם בעצם הדרך שבה הם חיו את חייהם. עצוב לי שלא יצא לדורות המשך להרגיש את האהבה, את היושרה, את החוסן של המשפחה כפי שהיא היום. אז זהו, הגענו לרגע שבו אנחנו חותמים על האמנה המשפחתית, ואנחנו עבדנו על זה למעלה משנה, ואני שמח ואני נרגש, ואני בטוח שזה ישפיע עלינו ועל הדורות הבאים עוד הרבה זמן. שיהיה במזל טוב ובברכה. שמחתי היום שכל המשפחה ביחד חתמנו על האמנה שבה אנחנו רואים מה התפקיד של המשפחה להיות מאוחדים. אני גם כן כמובן מאוד מאוד שמחתי שהמשפחה יחד חותמת על האמנה המשפחתית שלנו, שהיא אני רואה בה כמצפן לכל הדורות הבאים. אני מאוד מקווה שאתם, אלי, אוליביה ואתה לב הקטן, ימשיכו ויקבלו את הערכים, וגם כל הדורות הבאים שאחריכם. יחיו לפני, לפי ערכים אלו, כדי שכשאתם מסתכלים על עצמכם בראי בבוקר, אתם תהיו שלמים עם עצמכם ומאושרים. זה מה שיביא לכם את העושר הפנימי, וזה מה שחשוב. גם אני וגם מלכה, אנחנו חיינו כל החיים לפי אותם ערכים, ואנחנו לא שברנו אותם אף פעם. בסופו של דבר חשוב הנפש של הבן אדם, שיהיה אמיתי, שיהיה כן, שיהיה אה, ישר גם בעיני עצמו וגם בעיני אחרים, שיהיה מסוגל, אם הוא מסוגל לעזור, שהוא יעזור לאחרים. מאחר ואנחנו חיינו את כל החיים שלנו בצורה הזאת, הייתי ממש נרגש ושמח אם אלה שיבואו אחרינו ימשיכו במסורת הזאת. Okay, so as you saw there, a legacy film really creates an opportunity to, to leave behind a, a lasting personal record of one's life that will continue to inspire, influence, and guide future generations of a family. I know that my father felt that by going through the process of making a legacy film, it helped him think more deeply about the legacy he wants to leave behind. And he even said that he had fun making the film. Okay, so we imagine you're probably wondering how much a legacy film might cost. So the cost of this roughly three to six month project really depends on several variables, including the amount of archival research required, the number of interview, interviewees and scenes that need to be filmed and how much travel is necessary, as, as well as the length of the video. But to give you a sense, a rough estimate of what a, a film might cost, um, you can expect it to be in the $50,000 to $100,000 price range. Of that, probably five to $10,000 would be going on expenses. Okay, so to conclude, um, I want to mention there's, there's a lovely tradition in Jewish custom, not so well known these days, of parents writing what's called an ethical will, in which the parents sum up what they have learned in life and express what they most want for their children. 
parents believed that the wisdom they had acquired was just as much part of the legacy they wanted to leave their children as were all their material possessions. So the way we see it, a legacy film is kind of the modern interpretation of, of this lovely idea of an ethical will. Okay, so that's it. Um, we um, hope you enjoy learning about legacy films. And if you're interested in finding out more, please feel free to get in touch. Thank you.